Today we update the firmware on a Duet 2 mainboard. Getting back into the swing of things, I've started to think about 3D printing firmware again. And I realized it had been a while since I've done anything with a Duet board. And the first thing I thought, I wonder how far out of date my firmware is on this board. So I got to looking around about how you update Duet boards, and I realized there was a couple of different ways, depending on the version of firmware that you had, to get the firmware on these updated. So I thought it might be helpful if we run through a couple of different scenarios on how to get the firmware updated on this board. For this video, I will be using the Duet 2 Wi-Fi, but it's pretty similar for a lot of the Duet 2 boards. So let's not waste any time. Let's head to the computer and get this board updated. So let's start with the easiest method first. This is the most current method for updating the firmware. It's for the 2.0 and up releases. Just search for the Duet GitHub and you're going to find this DC42 GitHub. We'll go there. And then you can head into RipRap Firmware. And the best page for me was the releases page. So just click on releases up here. And this is going to give you all of the different releases of the firmware. There is a release candidate version out there right now. That was current at the time of making this video. But we're going to go with the latest release down here, 2.03. Again, we are working with the Duet 2 series board. You can check out the release notes to see what's new. But the easiest way to upgrade a Wi-Fi, an Ethernet, or a Maestro is to just download the whole Duet 2 firmware suite. That's this zip file right here. This will update the web interface, the Wi-Fi server, as well as the firmware that runs on the board. You can do these individually with these bin files. But with the later versions, this is definitely the easiest way to go. So we'll just download this zip, and then we'll head into the Duet Wi-Fi web GUI. I am just cabled up USB to my Duet board, and the SD card is plugged in. You can power Duet boards directly from USB. So I'll head to my Duet's IP, and there's nothing else plugged into this board. No thermistors, motors, or anything like that. I'm just updating the raw board. And I am assuming that you have a working configuration on your Duet board already that works for your printer. But if you need to know how to get all that set up, there will be a video up in the corner that shows you step by step how to get that done. But back to the firmware upgrade. So we'll go down here to settings. And I'm currently on firmware version 2.03 because I updated this yesterday. But you still can come back in here and update the version even if it's the same one. So I'm just going to show you how to do that for example. So if everything goes as planned, all you have to do is hit upload files. We'll go to downloads and find that zip file. Duet Firmware 2, hit open, and it's going to go through the list of files, upload them one by one, and then when the upload is complete, it's going to ask you if you'd like to perform the firmware update, and we'll go ahead and click yes. It'll give you a progress bar down here while it's updating. After the update's complete, the board will reboot. You can go to settings, and you can see we're on the latest firmware version. So the newer upgrading process on the 2.0 versions is really self-explanatory. I have had occasion where I uploaded my zip file via this interface, but it didn't ask me if I'd like to update the firmware. So I had to kick it off manually. And the easiest way to do that, for me, is through Pronterface. So let's open up Pronterface. Link to Pronterface in the description. We'll go ahead and connect up to the board. I'm on COM31, baud rate 250,000. We can verify it is Duet Wi-Fi. And if it didn't ask you to update the firmware, you can kick this off manually. We've already uploaded the files, so you can do that with an M997S0, press enter. And then if you go back to the web GUI, we lost the connection because there's a firmware update going on. So we've manually kicked off that update. So if you have that issue where it doesn't ask if you want to update the firmware after you upload your files, that should fix it, just a manual update command. And even though you manually did that upload, you'll probably want to come back in here now that that issue is fixed Go ahead and upload that zip file again and try to perform the firmware upgrade just to make sure all the pieces get updated. It's also important to note if you're changing firmware, it might change how the printer does things. So you might have to go back and tweak your config files after the fact. For instance, something like motor direction. It might change how it's handling that. So just check it out after the firmware update. So that firmware update is pretty easy. But what if you have a really old version of firmware, something like 1.18? Let's do a downgrade to 1.18 on this board so I can show you how you'd upgrade from a version like that to 2.03. Now a downgrade is something you're definitely not going to want to do. This is just for reference. 
So we'll head back to GitHub. If you scroll down far enough and hit Next, you'll eventually come to the older versions of the firmware. And let's go with 1.18.1, this one right here. And we're going to need a couple of different files. We're going to get the Duet Web Control .bin. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Duet Web Control zip file as well. I'll show you more about that in a second. Duet Wi-Fi Firmware. Duet Wi-Fi Server and the IEP4E bin. You don't need the RipRap firmware bin because that's for Duet 1 boards. And if we unmount our SD card from our board, and we mount it on the computer, we'll pull up downloads and that SD card side by side. So I do a bit of a paranoid upgrade, I would call it. I like to just wipe out all of the www files all at once and then copy them back manually. You don't really have to do this, but I found with the older versions, this was the easiest way to make sure it got all the files correct the very first time. So I like to use just the Duet Web Control Zip. We'll just open that up, grab all the files that are in there, and copy them. Control C. We'll create a new www folder on the SD card. And we'll just copy all those files in there. That will essentially update the whole Web Control UI. Now you can do that with the bin file, and I'm going to do that in this video as well. But sometimes I even like to do both, just to make sure I have everything correct. So you can give it a try both ways, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. So let's go back, we'll go into the sys folder, and we're going to delete the 2.03 firmware for now. So the Duet Wi-Fi firmware bin, Duet Wi-Fi server, and the IAP4E. Then back to downloads, we'll copy our 1.18 files in, IAP4E, Duet Wi-Fi server, Duet Wi-Fi firmware. And we'll go ahead and throw the Duet Wi-Fi web control bin in there as well. And now we need to update some of these file names. So Duet Wi-Fi server, I just need to take the version name off, like that. Now the actual Duet Wi-Fi firmware, we have to use the naming convention of the newer firmware since we're on 2.03 to go back to 18 and they use Duet 2 combined firmware. Now we'll have to use the old naming convention when we come back from 1.18 but you'll see that in a minute and then web control we'll just take the version number off of it. So we should be good we can unmount our SD card from our computer put it back on our Duet board restart your Duet board and we'll jump back into Pronterface We'll disconnect and connect back up, and we'll do an M115 just so we can see what version we're on. We are on 2.03, and then we can go ahead and issue the update, M997, we'll do S0, colon 1, colon 2. That updates the RipRap firmware, the Wi-Fi module firmware, and the web control, the UI that you use. Again, we've already updated the web UI with the www file change but I'm just showing you how to do it command line if this works better for you. So it's going to go through and update all three. The web UI does take the longest and it does it at the end. Now the upload's complete, let's go ahead and disconnect and connect back up. You can see the version right there, but let's go ahead and do the M115. We're on 1.18.1. And if you wait a moment, it's going to come up and say that the Duet Wi-Fi is now acting as an access point. And you could connect up to it with your Wi-Fi to configure it. But since we already have valid config files on the board, remember I said that I expected this already worked on your printer, you've probably already set up your Wi-Fi. So after the downgrade, all you should really have to do is start and stop the web server. So M552, S0 to stop it, and then S1 to start it. And that should pull from your config files and join your existing network. It'll spit out the IP you need to use right here. And just for reference, we can jump on that IP We'll go to settings, and you can see all the old versions have been installed. So there's the downgrade process. Again, you probably don't need this information, but now I can show you how to get up to speed if you were on this version, or anything older than this. We'll pretty much do everything in reverse. So let's unmount our SD card from our Duet board. We'll put it back on the computer, and we'll go back to the GitHub and take a look at that release 2.03 one more time. We're going to need the individual files since we're coming from an older version. So we'll go ahead and get the combined firmware.bin, we'll get the web control zip, the Wi-Fi server.bin, and the IAP4E.bin. Now back to the download folder and the SD card. We'll delete all the 1.18 stuff off the SD card. We'll move our new 2.03 files over, 
Make sure they're named correctly. You don't want any ones or anything like that left over on the end of them. Duet Wi-Fi server dot bin. Web control, we'll do that in a second. Duet 2 combined firmware dot bin. And again, for the firmware, we need to rename it because we're coming from an older version. So it's not combined firmware, it's Duet Wi-Fi firmware. And for the web control, the UI, we'll just do that manually like I do erasing the www folder. So we'll back up a level, we'll get rid of this folder, we'll create a new one, and then in the Duet Web Control 1.22.6, we'll just open that up, copy everything, paste it in our new www folder, and we should be good to go. So we can take the SD card off of the computer, put it back in our Duet board, restart the Duet board, we'll head back to Pronerface, we'll disconnect and connect. Again, let's do a verify. We're still on 1.18.1. And we're just going to update the firmware and the firmware on the Wi-Fi card, not the web interface. And the reason is because the older version would need a web bin file, and they don't have those in the newer version. So copying those www files will work just the same. So we'll m997s0 colon 1. When the upload's complete, we can go ahead and disconnect, connect back up. The printer's online, and since we have the newer version, it should know our config files are accurate and it should automatically start our Wi-Fi like we expect it to. It'll join our network. We can do the M115 again just to verify. And if it doesn't spit out your IP, you can always just start and stop that server again. M552, S0 to stop, S1 to start. It's connected. It's given us our IP. Back to the browser. We'll reload. Go to settings. And we're on our new version, including our web interface version. And that's all there is to it. It's not that hard once you know what commands to use and the process step-by-step step, of getting all the files situated. And there we go. Now we're on the newest version of firmware on our Duet board. Now a lot of this might seem kind of obvious, but I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on how to move around on the Duet board through the terminal to try to change out some of the firmware just in case you get stuck during a firmware update or you're on a really old version of firmware. And the main reason why I went through all these steps is because I wanted to understand how the firmware worked on the Duet board. Because I think we can run another type of firmware other than RipRap. But that'll be for another video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.